Oh, hi. I didn't hear you come in. I had the vacuum cleaner running. My name is Steve. Welcome to my shop. Join me while I take and do a little bit of uh, cleanup and some maintenance on my Atlas 10F Quick Change Lathe. First thing that I'm going to do is take and unplug the lathe so I don't have any accidents. Just double check, make sure it's off. And it's off. <clears throat> Next thing, one of the issues that I'm having is that the tail stock is a little stiff moving and so what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, clean up the ways and check them for any dings I really haven't done much with this lathe since I installed it to facilitate cleaning up the ways a little better I'm going to take the tail stock right off and set it aside for right now The next thing that I'm going to do is take and wipe down the ways and get all the oil off of them because I'm going to stone them with my precision ground stones. So let's clean up the ways. <clears throat> Now I'm going to go over the ways with my precision ground stones. I'm going to use the coarse side first, see if I can feel any dings or raised spots. I'm going to do the inside edge. I'm going to do the outside edge. Then I'm going to go over them with the fine side. There are a few spots up here that are Looks like somebody used the end of the ways for an anvil. I had noticed that and I actually took a file and knocked that down when I first got the lathe. The ways are polishing up real nice. Now I'm going to take and run the carriage back to the end and do the end up towards the uh, headstock. I want to get all the oil off of the ways so that it doesn't contaminate the stones. As I'm wiping this off, I can already feel some spots that are could be troublesome.
oil up the ways now. I use whey oil that I get from uh, McMaster Car. Quite a bit of grit underneath of the uh, carriage. So what I'm going to do, bring you in a little closer and you can see what I mean. It is quite a bit of, of dirt. You can wipe it up. It's coming out from underneath the carriage. So what I'm going to do is run the uh, the carriage back and forth a couple of times and re-oil it, wipe it down and till I get it clean. So I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, I've run it back and forth two or three times, actually three or four times, and uh, I've got it running pretty smooth. Still tightening up a little bit up near the other end, but of course there isn't as much wear there, but definitely by cleaning it up and re-oiling it have made quite a difference on that. Next thing I'm going to do is to replace the way wipers. I purchased a kit with the wipers in it and it also came with this lubrication chart which gives all of the different oil points and the types of oil to use so I'll be going over this at some point um, we're covering a couple of them in this video I took one of the wipers out and this is, is a felt piece and then there's a hard rubber piece that backs that up. Also included with this uh, laminated lubrication chart. Very nice. That'll be handy to keep by the lathe. Also came with these felt washers that go on the uh, counter shaft. And that will be the subject of another video. So here are the new felt. Made in USA. And here are the hard rubber pieces that back up back it up. And they're held in place by this metal cover. So the felt goes in there and then the hard rubber backs it up and that all screws back on to the uh, carriage. And I'll take you and give you a close up of that procedure. I've already replaced the wipers on the other side of the carriage. I figured that this one was going to be better positioned to see what I'm doing to film it. There's a single screw holding the wiper in place. Oh, it's loose. And it just lifts off 
and then that's the plastic piece that comes out and that's the felt I'm going to take and uh, clean this up with some brake clean there's the, uh, the felt we'll put the new felt in and I'm going to take and soak the new felt in some whey oil it soaks right in and put the hard rubber cover on it and then put it back in place There's also a little oil hole in the top of it where you can actually get in and get some oil right into it. Now for some reason, I'll bring you over here, this side does not have one. And I don't know why. There's no screw hole for it, so it never did have one. And I have seen this model lathe that has all four on it, but we all see about installing it at a later date. But for right now, that's doing going to do just fine. The next thing I'm going to do is put the tailstock back on. Okay, I set the tailstock upside down on the back of the ways. That's about the best place that I can find for it to sit. Let's try and... There we go. That'll hold it. And I guess part of the problem with this is it's got real old gummy oil on it. So I'm going to take and clean the old oil first. And now I'm going to go over the sliding surfaces with a smaller set of precision ground stones. That feels better already. It was, it was starting to feel pretty rough. <clears throat> the stones are also ground on the sides and they're perfectly square so I can get both surfaces at the same time it felt pretty rough to start with now it's feeling pretty good Okay, I'm going to put the tail stack back on and see how I did. 
oiled up and that's what I was looking for. I had to use two hands and get behind it and really put some effort into moving it before. I'm very pleased with that. Carriage is going back and forth nice, nice and smooth. Well, that's going to wrap up this first video. I'm going to do a series of videos on the care and maintenance of the Atlas lathe. Uh, probably be three parts or so, I'm not sure exactly. But in the next part, I'm going to tackle the headstock uh, for lubrication and the countershaft. Uh, I have new felts that I showed before. I have felts to put in that. And I'm going to make a minor modification to make greasing that a little bit easier. On a couple of different occasions during this video, I have used the precision diamond ground bench stones, the flat stones. And if you are interested in more information or pricing on them, you can uh, email me. I'll leave the email at the bottom of the screen and I'll also put it in the description. So I'll see you in the next video.